Health is the most important part of human life. One of the supporting part is medicine that can be consumed if there are health problems in our body. The increasing needs of medicine drugs consumed by community has caused the pharmaceutical industry to start developing various kinds of generic drugs, which are then compared to patent drugs, so that the prices of drugs circulating in the market are more affordable for the general public. As one of the bioavailability and bioequivalency laboratories for clinical trials, Biometric Research Indonesia is here to offer the service of full study bioequivalency, bioequivalency pilot study, and clinical tests to meet the needs of pharmaceutical industry testing studies. Biometric Research Indonesia establishes a quality system, resources, and managed facilities that meet regulatory requirements and international standards according to the guideline for bioavailability and bioequivalency, good clinical practice, good laboratory practice, ISO EEC 17025-2017, PMEA, FDA, and Asia. To ensure the output of our service with applicable standards and accepted by the Drug Regulatory Authority, Biometric Research Indonesia is currently accredited by the National Accreditation Committee and is deemed worthy by the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency to conduct testing according to GCP and GLP guideline. Biometric Research Indonesia is equipped with clinical facilities and laboratory facilities. Clinic facilities are equipped with 4 bedrooms with a total of 44 beds, 2 sampling rooms, Two doctor rooms, two recreation room, and two ECG rooms. Biometric Research Indonesia are fairly selective in recruiting volunteers to participate in the full BE study, BE pilot study, or clinical trial. The subject screening process started from antigen swab. Briefing, informed consent, BMI measurement, physical examination, ECG. taking urine, and whole blood sample. After the results of the blood out obtained, the doctor in charge will conduct a review to select subjects who pass and do not pass the criteria. The sampling process for the subject who pass begins with subject standardization the night before the dosing process takes place. At the time of standardization, there are swab check and information on consumption control before entering quarantine at the biometric facility. After that, we begin the dosing process or drug administration, blood collection, and monitoring of the subject vital signs. After the completion of drawing blood, the plasma separation process was immediately carried out. Then, the plasma sample was stored in the freezer to maintain stability before being submitted to the laboratory for sample analysis. Biometric Research Indonesia had already standardized laboratory, complied with good laboratory practice, and refers to ISO 17025 in 2017. Biometric Research Indonesia has a laboratory consisting of Instrument Room. In the Instrument Room, there are five instruments for analysis consisting of four LCMSMS and one HPLC. The LCMSMS at Biometric Research Indonesia 
are calibrated and can analyze sample up to 5 core units. Furthermore, the laboratory is equipped with preparation room, where the preparation room is equipped with 4 preparation tables, and there are analytical support facilities. Furthermore, the laboratory is equipped with second preparation room, which equipped with region storage cabinets, flame cabinets, fume hoods, and an eye shower which is useful as first aid for accident. And the last, the laboratory is equipped with waving room, where there is one micro scale and one macro scale that is routinely calibrated. In the laboratory, there are three main stages, namely method development, method validation, and bioanalysis. The method development stage is the stage to find a suitable and optimal method for an active substance surgery as references or experiments in the laboratory. Then, the next step is method validation. It's a step to show that the method is suitable and optimally used for substance. Based on laboratory experiments to prove that the parameters meet the requirement for their use, which has referred to the EMEA guidelines. And the last step is bioanalysis, namely the process of testing drug sample or analyzing sample based on methods that have been developed and validated. The results of the analysis process are then submitted to the technical manager for the data checking process before we input to the data manager. Data that has been reviewed by the person in charge then followed by the breaking code process. The briefing code process is to announce the results of the test to the sponsor. Biometric Research Indonesia always put forward a professional testing process with the timeline implementation as promised as scheduled to the sponsor. Biometric Research Indonesia, we are independent, reliable, and accurate.